Hi, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop. I'm probably right. CBS released an updated WNBA rookies ranking to cap off the rookies' first full month of play in the W. Unlike the last ranking, this time I mostly agree with their rankings of the top five rookies. Leading the pack is Angel Reese, the Chicago Skies forward who has been a force to be reckoned with Angel on Reese both ends of the court with a series of double-double performances right and a talent for two. stealing the ball. Reese has etched her name in the Angel history books as the Mabry first WNBA the player shoulder, this right season to achieve two. double doubles with five plus steals Angel in Reese two consecutive games. Her, her dominance as a rebounder right is unparalleled and she is currently topping the league in offensive Angel boards. Reese this should come Mabry as a surprise to no one and I absolutely right agree. Shoulder if you two. don't, Get at me in the comment. Let me know who's your number one. In the number two spot, we have Caitlin Clark. Clark had her best performance in Friday's 85-83 win against the Mystics, scoring 30 so points on really 53% shooting, including seven three points. However, if not for this game, she may have found herself outside of the rankings, especially after being benched against the Suns, where she scored only 10 points. Clark remains a turnover machine, recording eight turnovers in the escape victory against the Mystics. The fever schedule should get a lot easier which should help Clark's ranking. Let me know how you feel about Clark being in the number two spot in the comments. In the number three spot, maybe a surprise, if not a shock to many, is Rakia Jackson. Jackson. Rakia Jackson, for me, is a difference maker on the offensive side of the ball. A player that can create her Jackson. own shot. In the fourth quarter, against the Aces, Rakia took over the game and scored seven of her career tying Jackson. 16 points while adding five rebounds and allowing the Sparks to earn their first back-to-back -back win. While I wouldn't put her in the number three spot, I can understand why they did. If Rakia took the third spot, then it stands to reason Cameron Brink would be in the fourth spot. The block queen of the WNBA, Cameron Brink, picked up her first double-double against the Dallas Wings of 10 points and 10 rebounds, along with two steals and three blocks. Brink is averaging, Brink is averaging 2.8 blocks per game, the third best in the league. However, her foul troubles continue as she fouled out for the first time in her career in the Sparks. 86-62 blowout loss against Minnesota Link. If Brink can get her foul issues under control, she will definitely rise in the rankings. In the fifth spot, we have Aaliyah Edwards from the Washington Mystics. Edwards' best performance came against fellow forward Chicago Sky Angel Reese, shooting almost perfectly from the field going 10 of 12 for a double-double of 23 points and 14 rebounds, along with four blocks. Edward followed that game up with another double-double of 10 points and 12 rebounds. Edwards have been in and out of the starting lineup for the Mystics. With her ability to be effective on both sides of the ball, I see her moving higher in the rankings as well. As the rookies get comfortable and more familiar with the pace and the physicality of the WN, NBA, and for some easier schedule and others tougher schedules, this list will be sure to change and we will see some of our favorites fall and some of them rise. Now, we cannot end this video without first discussing ESPN's wild rookie ranking. Cameron Brink from the Los Angeles Sparks. In the number two spot, Angel Reese from the Chicago Sky. The number three spot, Kate Martin from the Las Vegas Aces. Number four spot, Rakia Jackson from the Los Angeles Sparks. The fifth spot, Van Lu Julie Van Loot from the Washington Mystics. The number six spot is Caitlin Clark from the Indiana Fever. And the number seven spot is Aaliyah Edwards from the Washington Mystics. I'm not sure what metrics ESPN and their analysts are going by, but this seems very, very off. I just put this out here so that uh, we can discuss in the comments. Get at me. Let me know. As always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.